We all know that you will pay to get the job done. Even if you don't pay the full price, we know you got that cheese. So with that being said, Mr. White is going to take you very seriously. He's not going to play with Boosie. Nope, Mr. White is not. For the shenanigans, Mr. White is a celebrity. Mr. White knows that if a person make a threat, you should not take it idly. You should really take it as if it has already taken place, you guys. We want to know, uh, Vlad, what I would like to know is you going to help your boy, boy Boosie up out of this, Mr. Uh, Vlad? Because Mr. White ain't the one to play with mr white said he's getting goal, goals accomplished believe that so i don't know what to say y'all it looked like boosie may be going back to jail now let's carry on with this video hold up you guys i gotta i gotta i gotta go back i gotta go back and i'm gonna let it play fair use this is mr white's page mr charleston white page Boosie, I'm going to put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm, every time I'm a boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life that he got to live in Baton Rouge that Boosie go send them people to get you. He said he can't have a show because Boosie goes, stop. I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter scary. Scary ass, nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't. I ain't gonna do nothing, bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna put your bitch ass in jail. Yeah, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm gonna make a report on your motherfucking ass and people. And you make the man, the man call your name specifically. The promoter specifically said it's your motherfucking name, little boost. He implemented you and implicated you, bitch ass nigga. You finna go to jail back to jail. You gonna be on your knees, but knee gonna be bleeding again. <laughs> Diabetic freak. And there you guys have it. He don't mess with the right person. He had Boosie. You had the right plan, but the wrong man. Let me say that to you guys again. Boosie had the right plan, but God dang it, he had the wrong God dang old man. You're dealing with a smart, intelligent man. You're dealing with a man that deals with the youth. He don't redeemed himself from when he was a, a delinquent youth. Mr. Charleston White ain't living that lifestyle. Ooh, we want to know what bloodthirsty Vlad going to do about this. But Vlad, you going you gonna to hook him up with some of your lawyers? Allegedly. Only allegedly, okay? Only allegedly. Yeah, because Charleston White know that Boosie may not pay the full price, but Boosie will have somebody waiting in the back seat begging for a body. Charleston White said, nah, man, nope, I would not be caught up like you did that boy Nooski. Nooski, nope, I won't be caught up like that. Right plan, but the wrong man. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And we ain't going to forget when Charleston White had said this. Let me go to that part. I'm getting ready to get a phone out of here. Oh, I got to read those comments. I got to read those comments for y'all. Oh, I can't leave y'all hanging like that. Remember this. Boosie telling too. Boosie had to tell on Marlo Mike. God damn it. Lil Durk. Lil Durk say, man, King Von did that goddamn shoot. Man, that's say, hey, man, they put it. We telling on dead niggas now. Boys and girls, we telling on any goddamn body. Fuck the dead man, living man. Tell on your mama. Fuck you talking about. You know. And what he mean by that, when they allegedly get somebody knocked off, they get that person knocked off who knocked that person off. And then when they, when the police come for a prior case that they involved in, nah, it was such and such that did it. Because I was told dead man can't talk. So Baton Rouge promoter, this the Baton Rouge promoter right here. Look, please give me a call ASAP. That was today. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm going to read from right here, uh, 1225 p.m. 
and then they said please give me a call and then at 1 42 p.m give me a call one second and i had witnesses who were on the phone when you made the initial call so labusi making threats i've already contacted law enforcement concerning these possible threats against my life and he tagged vlad vlad is tagged and let me see if you can see it on this come on scream y'all don't do me like that i'm almost done you can see vlad i guess vlad ain't i don't know but yes you guys and somebody wrote uh ungodly underscore wrestling wrote uh you inspiring me to snitch on my ops onk and mr white definitely responded back in the timely manner mr white replied to ungodly wrestling is how you wipe them negroes out for good y'all know i won't say the other word you hurt them and their families by putting a aid in jail plus jail helps more than it hurt and somebody wrote i love you black queens uh they wrote thanks for inspiring me to snitch i feel thanks for motivating me to snitch i feel inspired oh. <clears throat> And somebody wrote, people get grapes, seedless grapes in jail. Y'all know what they were stand for. Why lie about that part to us, though, Charles the White? Prison proves most inmates go right back, so how does it help? And somebody wrote, prison and jail, two different things. Prison where life is at. Please leave Boosie alone. This is what this commenter wrote. Boosie needs to focus. Uh, somebody wrote so you didn't read the caption boosie messed with him first boosie need to focus on his health he beat cancer and mr white responded back in a timely fashion manner he didn't beat diabetes and somebody put yet yeah. lols boy i know boosie Ooh, here we go Ooh, my favorite uncle's beefing Ooh. Ooh, what you don't want to do y'all want to hear yeah do y'all want to hear that again before i leave what mr white said come on let's hear one more again man fair use i told y'all boosie you gonna stop playing you gonna stop playing see because whoever you talking to they probably scared of you too <clears throat> they probably scared of boosie you know what i'm what i'm starting to think people are really afraid and people are starting to talk People, this is the year of the dragon, man. Ain't nobody getting bullied no more. People ain't on that. People want to live happily. People don't want that drama, so we're going to listen to it again. Shout out to Mr. White. Mr. White ain't playing. Boosie, I'm going to put your motherfucking ass in jail, nigga. I'm every boy, my boy, you making threats to the promoter? I got a recorded phone conversation with witnesses on the phone saying the promoter is scared for his life, that he got to live in Baton Rouge. That Boosie go send them people to get you. He say he can't have the show because Boosie goes, I said, nigga, I just hired the police. The promoter, scary. Scary ass, nigga. Yeah, nigga, Boosie is a hoe. And I bet he don't want to get in that boxing ring. See, Boosie, you going to try to send somebody, but you ain't going to do nothing, bitch ass, nigga. I'm going to put your bitch ass in jail, nigga. I'm waiting for the FBI yeah. to send me the right kind of number, nigga, because I'm going to make a report on your motherfucking ass and people you make the man the man call your name specifically the promoter specifically says your motherfucking name little boosie he implemented you and implicated you bitch ass nigga you finna go to jail back to jail you'll be on your knees but me gonna be bleeding again diabetic freak Ooh. Woo. Oh, infinite love, life, and a good vibration. Let me go be nosy right quick, and then I'll come right back. Only if something is on Boosie page, like if they like saying, man and women, uh, Boosie, uh, Charles the White said he calling up the feds on you. Then, you know, i let y'all know what's up. Hold up. Oh, oh, I found the comment. Let me see if I can blow it up. Somebody wrote, Charles the White mad at you, Unc. Right here. 
Charleston White mad at you, Unc. <laughs> That's all I need to see. So he got the message. Boosie know what time it is. Boosie got the message. Trust me. Let's see what they're going to read, right? They laughing. And Charleston Wright is correct. Boosie, a straight clown. Yep. Look like Charleston Wright is winning this battle, y'all. Yep. People tired of that thug behavior. We done with it. Enough is enough. And I'm out of here. Yeah, Boosie. Charleston Wright said, who's next? It's going to be you this time because all he is doing is waiting on them people to send him that paperwork and you better believe he gonna fill it out. This is Charleston White's dream. Y'all know how 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 long Charleston White been waiting on the right moment for Boosie to just slip the way he slipped in Boosie. Besides, you got that whole ankle monitor on your leg. If you want to do all that, man, you supposed to not make no threats against nobody. And boy, he got a hope that that promoter ain't got no recordings of Boosie making threats. Because Boosie loved talking about putting the bag on somebody got dang on head. I'm up out of here, y'all.